people have asked me why a financial journalist launched the Lumen Prize for digital art, and the simple answer is because I could. As most of you know, there's a long and storied history of artists engaging in technology back to the dawn of the computer, but the contemporary art world in 2012 wasn't paying much attention. Thanks to the power and beauty of the work submitted in the last five years, we've helped to change this perception. We've traveled around the world, stage shows, and handed out lots of money. Even better, we've created opportunities for artists by working with a wide range of partners, achieving commissions, leasing, and even sales. Lumen is proud to be something called artist-led regeneration. This is a 17th century crypt under St. Pancras Church in London. Would you visit a crypt in January? Would you visit a crypt with digital art in it? I thought so. <laughs> We've also had shows in galleries, a cathedral, a shopping mall, and even a castle. That castle show tripled visitors' numbers to the venue in a cold November week. And when people would open the door to the Great Hall, they'd say, oh, no, 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 I'm not an art person. I'd say, come on in. And a half an hour later, I have to fish them out because they'd have the VR headsets, they'd be taking selfies, they'd be grabbing their friends and texting people to come on over, all kinds of people. We've been in plush locations, too. This is the Onassis Cultural Center in Athens. This was their ground floor of their performing arts hub. Digital works really well in um, that context, along theater, music, and dance. And on a similar note, we're planning to partner with the v &A Museum for their digital design weekend this September. This is where Lumen is showing next week, is the brand new gallery in Pudong, Shanghai, called the Museum of um, um, Modern Art Museum, a brand new gallery. And for the very first time, Lumen will be a paid for show. You'll have to pay to go in. And it's a month long show, so we're very excited about it. I'm now going to run you through the winners of the Lumen Prize. This was the winner in 2012. I thought that if you saw the five winners, it would tell a little story of how the genre is moving. It's a photo manipulation called Torn by Tommy Ingberg of Sweden. I love it. It probably wouldn't be shortlisted today. It is um, the next piece in 2012 was a piece by Katerina Athanasopoulou, a Greek artist. It's an animation, a five minute video that would make you cry about the uh, desolation caused by economic downturn. And she has since gone on to work for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation making films and is um, won many more awards. This is the winner in 2014 uh, called Cellular Forms by Andy Lomas, Cambridge trained mathematician who worked in CGI for films like Avatar, was able to quit his day job and is now a full-time artist. His work has been collected by the V&A, which is the keeper of the digital art archive for the UK. The fifth, uh, this is our fifth winner, uh, the um, Gibson Martelli. We've come a long way from photo manipulation. This is an augmented reality piece called Man A, activated by an app downloaded on your phone, which you then point at a marker to activate the film created with motion capture technology of Ruth Gibson, one half of the respected UK duo Gibson Martelli. Since winning the award, they've become represented by a Bond Street gallery and are selling their work globally. This year's winner, uh, which you'll be able to see in the lobby on the top floor as you exit at the end of the afternoon, um, is a virtual reality piece. It was created by a traditional Italian painter who was practice was involved in vertigo, but he wanted something different. So he connected to a virtual reality, a, a person who was familiar with virtual reality, and brought together an amazing piece called Hyperplanes of Simultaneity, which I encourage you, if you don't suffer from vertigo, I encourage you to try. It's an amazing piece. If you're an artist, I have one message. You can't win if you don't enter. 10.5 thousand dollars are up for the fund this year. We are categories are still moving VR and AR, interactive, 3D sculpture, web-based, and there's a free to enter student prize. In these five years, as you can see, the nature of the art has changed with the advances in technologies. Venues have changed during that time too. What we've learned is that digital is an experience and lends itself well to festivals, transition and meantime spaces, and underutilized heritage locations, as well as traditional venues. Artist-led regeneration using digital technology is now a valuable and viable aspect of urban planning. It brings to life areas that are transitioning, attracting crowds, and allowing partners 
and people to interact and engage with art outside the traditional formats. If you're interested in partnering with Lumen, I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.